Okay, now we're taking a look at factors, and we're going to be trying to find factors for a number. In this case, the example we're given is to write all the factors of 22. So the first question, of course, is what are factors? Factors are numbers that you can multiply to come up with the number that you're looking for the factors of. So we're looking for numbers that we can multiply to come up with 22. And they come in pairs, and there's one pair that we can always start with. And that is the pair of 1 times the number that we are looking for the factors of. So, for example, 1 times 22, we know that that's going to be 22. So we have just found two factors. We have found the factor of 1 and the factor of 22. So, like I said, they come in pairs, and the nice thing is we can always start with the pair of 1 and the number. So whatever we're looking for the factors of, we can use 1 and that number, and those will multiply to give us, in this case, the 22. So 1 and 22, now I just want to go through and I want to try some other numbers to see if I can come up with some pairs that I multiply to get 22. Since we started off with 1, the next thing I would probably want to try would be 2. And the question is, is there something that I can multiply 2 by to give me 22? And in this case, there is. There is 11. 2 times 11 would give me 22. So I've got another pair that we just found. We have found 2 and 11. So you kind of see how this is almost like playing a game. You're playing a guessing game. You're trying to come up with these pairs that multiply to give you 22. And we're only dealing with whole numbers here. So we don't have to worry about fractions and decimals. And I just keep trying to play the game. Is there something that I can multiply 3 by to give me 22? And we would try here, and maybe we try 3 times 7, and that gives us 21, but it doesn't give me 22. So unfortunately here, there is no whole number that I can multiply 3 by to give me 22. So that means we didn't find a pair, not with 3 as one of them. So we keep going and we try 4. And again, we ask ourselves, is there something I can multiply 4 by to give me 22? Is there a whole number that I can multiply 4 by to give me 22? And I try, you know, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 6 is 24, you know, that gives me 20, 24, but I can't get 22. So again, there's no number out here that I can multiply 4 by to give me 22. So that didn't get us any other numbers either. I keep trying because I'm persistent. <laughs> so I'm going to try 5. And I say, OK, is there a number I can multiply 5 by to give me 22? And again, no luck. 5 times 4 gives me 20. 5 times 5 gives me 25. But there's no number that will give me 22. So the 5 doesn't work. And we've probably started to notice that these numbers, as we keep looking at these pairs, they get closer and closer together. We started off with 1 and 22. Those are pretty far apart. 2 and 11 got closer together. We tried 3. We tried 4. We tried 5. We can keep going. We can try 6. 6 isn't going to work. 7, there's nothing I can multiply 7 by to give me 22. 8, 9, 10, none of them work. Actually, the next one that's going to work is 11, because as we've said before, 11 times 2 does equal 22, but we've already got the 11 and the 2 listed over here. So these four factors are all of the factors of 22. So keep in mind, they ask us to put them in, separating them by commas. Uh, it doesn't matter which order you put them in, but typically if we're listing some numbers, we like to put them in in largest, uh, smallest to largest order. So our numbers would be 1, 2, 11, and 22. 
So those are all of the numbers that will divide evenly into 22. And they are the numbers that we can use to multiply to get 22.